you all on my lane. Hey, yeah. You ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way. Hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a seed note. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on, Beef Stroke family? And welcome back to my channel. Now, today we got the most amazing beef stroganoff. So, the first thing we're gonna do is get you a two pound chuck roast. Go ahead and cut that down against the grain. Then, we got a whole yellow onion. Then, we got three tablespoons of diced garlic or minced garlic. Then, we got a pound of baby bellas, followed by a pound of um, button mushrooms. Then, we got a pack of Lipton Secret, and that's the French onion soup mix. And then, we got some um, W sauce. Then we got some unsalted beef broth. Then followed by some sour cream. That's all the ingredients you'll need. Um, got them laid out there for you. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is season that um, chuck roast with salt and pepper and then go ahead and begin to sear that chuck roast off in some canola oil. And you wanna sear in batches because you wanna get some good color on this meat. Um, the extra color on the meat will just ensure that you have more flavor in this dish. Uh, this is a very simple recipe so we just want to build up flavor um, as we go. All right, once you get all that meat brown, go ahead and pull it aside. You're not cooking this meat, you're just getting a good sear on it and setting it aside because it's gonna braise in the liquid. All right, once you get that out, go ahead and go in with uh, two tablespoons of butter. And you finna saute everything in this butter and then that beef jus that was left over from the beef. And so, um, go ahead and put your onion in there. Once your onion get good and translucent, you want to go ahead and add your garlic and um you want to just sweat the garlic down for maybe like a minute or two until you start to smell, smell it get really fragrant all right then we'll pull that garlic aside then we're going to go ahead and go in with our mushrooms and it's not any particular order that we throw the mushrooms in you just go in i went in with my butter mushrooms first and then my baby fellas and then i went on with a good sprinkling of salt just to bring out some of that moisture and um allow this stuff to cook all right once you get those button mushrooms sauteed and um you're not really developing much color on this you're just kind of sweating it out all right and once you get to that step there you're going to go ahead and add a big uh, tablespoon of all-purpose flour on there and then this is going to help us develop our gravy uh, for our beef stroganoff because you want some kind of thickening agent we also going to uh, put a corn cornstarch slurry in there to it later uh, because we want it extra thick all right then we're going on with some sauvignon blanc and we're going on with about a fourth of a cup of white wine just to deglaze and clean any of the um, bits that stuck to the bottom of our pan up and once we deglaze we're going to go ahead and let that go until it's almost fully evaporated um, but yeah, we're just using that white wine just to enhance those flavors and also deglaze with. All right, once that white wine is uh, evaporated, we're gonna go on with half of our beef broth. And I'm putting this in in uh, halves. So I added half of the container and then um, we're gonna bring it up to a boil. And once it becomes to a boil, we're gonna add the other half of beef broth in just to finish it up. So it's gonna develop or thicken um, in time versus all at once. And um, it also ensure that we don't, have, we don't have any lumps in our um, sauce. So we're just making everything smooth and um, pretty much just smooth and pretty. All right, once you get to this step here, you, you got all the beef broth in, go ahead and raise that temperature back up and we're gonna go in with our um, Lipton's pack there. And um, you can use the garlic and mushroom one or the, I mean the onion and mushroom one or the um, plain onion one. Uh, either one is just fine. I'm just using this pack just to get us some additional flavor. You don't necessarily need that pack either, but I like the flavor that it gives off. And then we're gonna go on with about two tablespoons. That's right, I said two tablespoons of that W sauce. I just like that tang that it gives off. All right, and then after we add that W sauce in and it comes to a simmer, go ahead and add our beef in. And um, once we add the beef in, we are gonna bring that temperature back up to a bowl, and then we're gonna reduce it all the way down to medium low, and then we're gonna cook this thing for two hours and a half. All right, once we get it cooked for two hours and a half, 
or two and a half hours. Um, taste the meat, it should be tender and just falling apart, but not like mushy. All right, that's where you wanted that. And then we're gonna go on with um, a cornstarch slurry. And what we did was we added two tablespoons of cornstarch followed by two tablespoons of cold water and we just added that slurry in once it's starting to thicken up um to this point here we're going to go ahead and add our sour cream to it and once you add the sour cream you can pretty much kind of kill the heat um just make sure you get that all mixed up and incorporated in but if you got a whiskey you you can use a whisk and then whisk in a lot easier um, versus staring it in like me but it's a labor of love so I didn't mind, so I just made sure that I got it all incorporated and stirred in. Um, and then you should see your sauce begin to turn this color here. And you know your sauce is ready once it coats the back of a spoon. And um, that turn right there is nappe. Once your sauce is nappe, you're ready. So we just got some butter noodles um, followed by, um, we seasoned the butter noodles with a little salt and added some parsley and black pepper to them. And so we're getting all our butter noodles down. And you can pile this up however you want. This is just the plating process. Um, you can put how much on there you want. And then after we get the butter noodles done, we're going on with some good helping, um, with some good serving helpings of that beef stroganoff. And once we got all the beef stroganoff and mushrooms on there, we're going on with some of that gravy and then we're going to top it off with some fresh parsley. And there you have it, man, the most amazing beef stroganoff from the bistro. A lot of people are familiar with beef stroganoff from the hamburger helper package where you use the ground beef. beef. And that's cool if you grow up with that. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, but if you never had really good um, traditional beef stroganoff, I really suggest you try this recipe, man. It's really good. And like I said, we used a cheap cut of beef. Well, it's not really cheap now after the pandemic, but uh, sort of a cheap cut of beef. We used the chuck roast. And uh, the whole thing about using the chuck roast is cooking it over time, and cooking it low and slow, just um, making sure you're developing flavors and also getting it tender. But yeah, man, there you have it. The most amazing beef struggling out from the bistro. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for always checking out my channel, man. You guys are amazing. This has been an incredible run. We two years in, almost 3,000 subs, um, over 100K uh, video views. So, man, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. And also, man, um, follow me on Facebook um, and you um, and Twitter and Instagram. But, yeah, thank you guys for checking the video out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Beef struggling out from the bistro. I'm out.